Yeah, but it's supposed to be a tutorial, so I'll show you how to make this kind of FPS movement controller with running, wall jumping and everything starting in 3, 2... Step 1. We create a playground for a character controller. Mistake correction. First we learn how to use ProBuilder. Okay, when you are done with creating the environment, you're ready for step 2. Cosplay my parents and create a dummy. In all seriousness, now create a dummy character which will hold the character controller script. To this capsule model, add an empty game object which sole purpose is to behave as the point of reference to the camera. Then move the main camera object and make it a child of the new created head object. Step 3. Create a vanilla script, call it whatever you want and then open it in the ID of your choice. Step 4. Delete everything. Step 5. Wonder what's happening with your life. Step 6. Introduce helper and important variables that we'll use in the tutorial. Step 7. In the start method grab the rigid body reference and lock the cursor so that it will be convenient for us during game testing. Step 8. Handle looking around. First in the update method register mouse input from Y and X axis. Remember to clamp the values on the vertical axis so that you can't look more than straight up or straight down. In fixed update take care of rotating the player body on the horizontal axis and the camera on the vertical axis. Playtest and see that it's actually working. You can change the sensitivity if you want obviously. Step 9. Remember yourself to add rigid body component to the player model. Step 10. Time for movement. In the update method grab the input from player's keyboard, this time from axis horizontal and vertical. In fixed update just move the player's body. If you feel dizzy when moving then it's probably because you need to freeze the rotation axis on the rigid body component. Step 11. Jumping. First of all in the update method we need to check whether the user sent input to jump and at the same time the player is a ground so they can jump. Then we need to create a separate layer mask for the ground itself. In the fixed update I use physics check sphere to check whether the player is colliding with the any ground mesh at the fit level. There are obviously other ways to do it but I found this one nice. Finally create a separate layer, call it for example ground, then assign it to the layer mask variable in the character controller. Also assign it to any object you want the player to jump from. Now the jumping experience will be much better if we created a dedicated physics material, set its all values of friction to zero and then apply this material to every object we consider walkable. So yeah, now we can jump in an entertaining way. Step 12. Wall jumping. I think the most interesting part of this tutorial. First of all we need several new namely three, variables that we will use to check whether we can jump and how much time we have left for execution of the wall jump. We'll use the boolean value as a flag indicating whether we can or cannot jump from a wall. We'll set its value on the onCollider_Enter method where we'll set the value of the boolean to true whenever we strike a collider, obviously a wall. The second part of the condition is important to check whether the collision happens horizontally because we don't want a double jump on the ground. Or maybe you do but you can code it yourself. The last part is to include user input during the time window opened after colliding with the wall. We'll use the small timer wannabe to check whether we have still some time left to execute the jump. Step 13 and the last one, also voluntary. Add a lot of post-processing nonsense to the game to make it look good. Maybe I did overdo that. However it still looks and plays fine. The most important thing is the journey we had, I think. Nah. It's all about showing you all the math skills. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, comment or subscribing. You can also check other tutorials on my channel or join the Game Dev Gang on my Patreon. Cheers.